Hey guys, Papa Rums here. A few years ago, I did a video on how to field dress a deer, and I get comments on Instagram. I get them all over on Facebook. I get them on YouTube. What did you do with the bladder? You left out the bladder. You did this, you did that. How do you do the bladder? So for those of you not criticizing, I do two things. One, I do not like to open this area up if I don't have to. So, so that means when I'm field dressing a deer, I'll try to stop right around here and leave the, the back area here because this is where your, a lot of your stakes come out of um, for when you drag them out because a lot of the deer I'm pulling out are far out in the woods. This one I'm going to be packing out. So my response to a lot of people were, I wait till I get home to split the pelvis here. So that's what I just wanted to show you guys today. Unfortunately, I don't have anybody here to help me. And that's the best spot I could uh, post that, put that camera in closest. So really, after you field dress your deer, you cut around your anal cavity here, uh, right here. So you want that to keep, come completely out. The tail comes out of here. And the bladder is gonna sit <clears throat> in the pelvic cage and it's gonna be right up in here, okay? So it's gonna be attached to the fat. It's gonna have the urinary tract. It's gonna be attached to the anus, depending male, female, how it's set up. The balls will be here, the penis, but. So a lot of time when you field dress, this is the part where a lot of people cut it out and it'll stay in there. So when it's hanging up in the air, you can see it. So what I like to do personally is wait till I get home, tie it off with a string. This way, when you go to cut it out and remove it, nothing comes out. Um, on this one here, it's a younger fawn. So I don't know how much urine you're gonna have in that tract area, but this is how you extract it for everybody asking me. So basically you just go in here, you wanna leave a little attached here and just get your knife and work it. This is why a shorter knife for deer, even bear, is better. Elk you could go deeper, moose you could go deeper. But the reason why is because when you come through the anal cavity, you do not pop the bladder because the bladder is sitting all the way down here you see so if you had a long blade and you come in you're going to cut all that up and it will send that urine all over not only your back stakes because a lot of your stakes come out of here your sirloin area and your uh, top round but it's going to also go all over your filet mignon your inner inner loins so that's where you gotta um watch out what you're doing take your time and that's why i don't go aggressive I love this knife. I have many knives, dozens, but a short little blade. I've never used a big blade. There's no reason for white tail or bear. Um, even for moose, we use these. So basically what you want to do is get your blade in there and you're going to do all the way around your cavity area, a swooping motion of just kind of sawing, lifting, come all the way up around. And it should come out. And if it doesn't, keep cutting, and it should fall right out. So you'll get this here. It probably would have been in there, or uh, it might even be up higher. Then, yep, it's gone. I'll show you with the camera now. Okay, you see? Clear. If that had the bladder, it would be sitting right in there. But that's how you pull it out. If you do a good enough job and you clean all the way around that, when you go to pull the intestines out, it'll come out with it. Um, or it'll be in that last piece right there where I just uh, showed you. But look how clean this is. This is going to be probably the best venison I've had in years. So once you get down to this point, I would uh, take your time, get a couple tissues even, and start just wiping it. Get the fur off now. So when you get home, you don't have to do it later because it's going to be a pain in the ass later when you're butchering. You don't want to deal with that. You're tired, you know. Um, I personally, what I do is I take it because this meat's going to have rigor mortis in it after uh, like a few hours, which it locks up. So I let it age in the cheesecloth. I'll uh, pull it out, put in separate cheesecloths each cut, and um, I'll let it age for two to three days. As long as the temperature is right um, and I keep an eye on it. I don't like the meat turning black, which is a natural thing when you age it. But the reason why is then you have to shave off that piece and I just prefer to keep the meat. So I let it get real nice and dry in a good area. Keep the windows open in the garage. If you have good heat or in the basement and, you know, just take your time with it. 
this deer here, there's going to be absolutely no waste at all. Going to be eating the whole entire thing. Uh, roasts, cuts, steaks, uh, fillets, you name it. So take your time with the meat. You've gone through all this trouble to get this far. Why are you going to mess that up now? But this. But anyway, I appreciate you guys sticking around this long. hope you enjoyed this content. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below if I can get to them. You guys take care. God bless. Stay healthy. See you next time.